Saturn and its environment is an absolutely fascinating place. We've got to start with Saturn itself, one of the gas giant planets of our solar system. And then we've got around Saturn this wonderful ring system. This must be, you know, one of the wonders of, of the solar system. It's absolutely beautiful, very delicate, uh, very structured system. And then we've got uh, more than 30 moons or satellites in orbit around Saturn. So in some senses, the Saturnian system is a mini solar system in its own right. And that's really the reason why we wanted a dedicated space mission to go there. The Cassini space mission is the first dedicated mission to Saturn, its rings and moons. The spacecraft entered Saturn's orbit in July 2004 and since then has been sending home several gigabytes of data each day, which is analyzed by 250 scientists worldwide. We've already seen fascinating results on the rings of Saturn. They're even more um, structured, more complicated than, than we thought. We have had quite a few flybys already of several of the larger moons. We've just very recently seen another of the moons, Enceladus, and there, there's an enormous surprise. We're finding small volcanoes of ice, uh, spewing icy material hundreds of kilometers uh, above the surface of Enceladus. We never expected that and we just don't understand where the energy comes to produce these icy fountains. Cassini's cloud penetrating imaging system is also mapping Titan, Saturn's largest moon. There's one very simple and overriding reason why Titan has been picked out for special study and that is simply that it is the only moon or satellite in our whole solar system that has an atmosphere. We absolutely had to go there to try and understand it better and ultimately find out why it has an atmosphere. The European Space Agency's Huygens probe was ejected from Cassini in December 2004. After a 20-day descent, the cone-shaped probe entered Titan's cloudy atmosphere. The front shield and three sets of parachutes were used to slow the probe and provide a stable platform for scientific measurements of the atmosphere's chemical composition and the surrounding clouds. The data was relayed back to Earth via NASA's Cassini spacecraft. British scientists led the surface science package team which set out to determine the exact composition of Titan's surface. For about a hundredth of a second, the very first part of the Huygens probe to strike the surface of Titan was part of the surface science package. We measured the force as it did strike the surface. And from that simple, but dare I say it, elegant measurement, we were able to say exactly what it is that we landed in. What we think we hit was Titan's equivalent of gravel on the edge of a lake. Not gravel made out of rocky, sandy material, but gravel made of ice particles. What we are finding out about Titan is that it's a place which in some senses is rather familiar. We're seeing hills, we're seeing what look like coastlines or, or lake shores. That's familiar, but then when you think a bit more deeply you realize it's actually very alien. On Titan it's all made of ice and the liquid is not water, as on Earth, but it's liquid methane. Familiar processes, but completely alien materials. It's such an exciting, it's such a varied place. It's very important, just scientifically in its own right, to understand this world literally halfway across the solar system.